Airbnb has these really cool cards where you can swipe left on them and you can see multiple images without having to click on the profile itself. So I wanted to implement this myself using React Native and this is what I came up with. So throughout the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can do this without having to rely on any third party library or anything of that regard. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is import view, image, and flat list from React Native. And then our data that we're going to display has a specific type we're naming property. It's got an ID, a name, a price, which is a number, stars, which is a number, photos, which will be a string, an array of strings, rather, and favorite, which will be Boolean. And this is what it'll look like. Now we're going to get started on displaying the vertical list. So what we need to do is return a view. And within that view, we need to return a flat list. Data is going to be that data set that we just made, which is called properties here. And then we need to set the key extractor to item.id. And then we don't want to show the vertical scroll indicator. And then within that, we're going to return a view with an image. And it's just going to show the first URL and height and width of 250. And now we have a vertical list of images. So you should have something like this. With the vertical flat list established, create a new component called card. And the first thing you want to do is import view, style sheet, image, flat list, text, dimensions, and pressable from React Native. Then import use state and use ref from React, and import ionicons from Expo vector icons, or any other family of icons and then create a variable for your styles. So this is the code that you're gonna to need to use whenever you're creating your card component. You can change the height, but I'm creating a constant variable called height and assigning it to 225. And then for width, this one you shouldn't change. Um, what you need to do is get the dimension of the current window and then get the width property from there. And the props that the component is going to take are images, heading, subheading, stars, favorite, on press, and style. And here are the types for those. Images is going to be a string array, heading, string, subheading, string or number, stars, number, favorite is going to be a boolean, on press is going to be a function returning any, and then styles can be any. Next you're going to want to create a flat list ref and use the use ref hook and assign it to null and it can either be a flat list or null then create a variable called view config ref and assign it this object with the field view area coverage percent threshold equal to 95 then create a state variable i'm calling it active index and then using the use state hook and assigning it an initial value of zero Create another variable, I'm calling it onViewRef, and then use the ref hook and pass in this function. And then after that, create another state variable. We're calling this favorite item, and it's going to be a Boolean. And this is going to be representing whether or not a user likes a certain profile associated with a card. So the initial value is going to be passed in, and whenever that gets clicked, we're going to handle it with this function. So just set the favorite item to the opposite of what it was, and then you would handle any backend requests underneath that. So let's get to the components that we are returning. Everything's going to be wrapped in a view, and I will get to the styles that I'm using later. So this is going to represent the heart in the top right of the component, and we're also using this favorite item to conditionally render what that heart looks like and the colors of it. So after the heart, you're going to want to list the images in a horizontal flat list. So the data needs to be the images prop, then horizontal is true, shows horizontal scroll indicator is false. The key extractor is just going to be the item itself. This should be a URL, but should be unique. And then ref is going to be equal to this function where we're assigning flat list ref dot current equal to the ref. 
that is getting passed in here. Snap to alignment is equal to center. Paging enabled is true. Viewability config is going to be equal to that view config ref that we created earlier. On viewable items change is equal to on view ref dot current. And then for render item, we need to render a pressable component. And within that pressable component, we need to render an image. So now let's get into the dot container, which will indicate the index that the user is in within that images array. And if they go left or right, it'll indicate you know, where they're at. So what you need to do is create a view. And then within that view, you need to create a dot for every index within that array. And whenever that index is active, just change the opacity to make it appear different than the others. So now let's get into the text container, which will contain the stars, the price, and the heading. And we want to wrap all of this in a pressable component. And within that, we need to wrap the star icon and the star number in a view. And that's going to have a flex direction of row. And then underneath that, we need to have a text component showing the heading, and then a text component showing the subheading, which is going to be the price in this case. So these are the styles that I use for my components. I'm going to be posting a link to a GitHub repository with this code. So if you want to follow that, it should drastically reduce the amount of time you have to spend. And I'm also going to be posting an article link. So check out either one of those if you'd like. Now that our card component has been created, head back to your screen where you initially started and import card from wherever your card's located. So mine is going to be in components slash card. Now we can remove this and paste in that. So what is that? It's our card component and we're setting heading equal to item.name, images equal to item.photos, subheading to item.price, stars equal to item.stars, favorite equal to item.favorite, and then I'm passing in this on press event. And in reality, you would probably want to navigate to some screen and then pass in that data as a parameter, and the data being this item, or at least the item ID. And to give you a reminder of how the properties should look, this is what they look like. So now let's check out what it looks like. I'm back in the card component and I forgot to add the dot styles, so I wasn't seeing anything, but make sure to add these. And this is what the dot styles look like. And now let's check it out. So this is what the end result looks like. You can scroll vertically, scroll horizontally on the images, and you can favorite an image. You can press on the image and that's what you'll get. If you press on the text, same thing. So I hope that this was helpful and thank you for watching.